In this video, we're going to be talking about the price to book ratio, also known as the PB ratio. This is one of the simplest and most straightforward methods we can use to determine what is the value of a company. Now, all we need for this exercise is simply the balance sheet and a calculator. What we are doing here is comparing the shareholders' equity per share with the market price. The main idea behind this valuation method is this. Let's say the company, for whatever reasons, decides today that it's going to sell everything that it owns, all of its assets. And then with that money that they receive, they first of all pay back everything that it owes, all its liabilities, all its debts. And then whatever is left over is basically given back to the company's owners, given back to the shareholders. So the question is, if you today own one share of this company, how much of this distribution are you going to get? So the amount that you can potentially receive is known as the book value of the company's shares. What we're doing is we're taking the book value of these shares and we're comparing it against the current market price of the shares today. What the PB ratio tells us is if you are to go to the market today and buy one share of this company, how much are you paying for every dollar of equity, for every dollar of the book value of this company? The calculation for the PB ratio is quite straightforward. First of all, we go to the balance sheet and we look for the stockholders' equity or shareholders' equity portion of the balance sheet and we take this number and we divide it by the total number of shares. And this gives us the book value per share of this company. And then the PB ratio is the current market price divided by the book value per share. If this number is less than 1, basically for every dollar of equity, for every dollar of book value, we are paying less than $1. So this may suggest that the company is currently undervalued. Whereas if this number is above one, that means for every dollar of equity, for every dollar of book value, we're going to be paying more than one dollar. This could suggest to us that the shares may be overvalued. And that's all really simple and straightforward to calculate. All right, that's it for today's video. Do like, comment, subscribe. If whoa, you whoa, 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 hold on. Does this mean that I can go to the market today and just calculate out all the PB ratios, buy everything with a PB ratio under one, which is undervalued, right? And sell everything that has a PB ratio of higher than one, which is overvalued. Is that it? Is that the secret to investing? Well, no, you should never rely on only one factor when making investment decisions. Well, once again, it's kind of like hiring an employee, right? You may have a few candidates to choose from, but you're not simply going to make the offer to the one who asked for the lower salary, right? There's definitely got to be more to it. That can't be the only deciding factor. Making investment decisions is a, you know, a multifaceted, a multidimensional thing. There's a lot of different factors that go into our decision process. Like what is the business? What are the opportunities? What are the strengths and weaknesses? How is the financials of this business managed and many, many other factors involved uh, that are not simply purely calculating one number. Also, the PB ratio is just one of several different methods of valuation. It just happens to be the simplest and the most straightforward to implement. But the PB ratio has its limitations. It may not be the best valuation method to apply to every single type of business. PB ratio is best used on companies that have a lot of tangible assets. So things like financial investment companies, things like real estate companies, energy companies, transportation businesses. These are you know, companies that tend to be capital intensive companies that have really large amounts of assets that they hold on their balance sheet. Also, companies in the same sector may tend to display the same type of PB ratio characteristics. Make sure that you are comparing companies within each sector, companies that are similar to the one that you may be considering investing. Are, does it have a lower or higher PB ratio compared to its peers? Okay, so for this portion of the video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how we can find the PB ratio of this company, BlackRock. But this is just a demonstration. It's not meant to be taken as investment advice. All the information we need is available for free. We can get it from Yahoo Finance. 
All right, so the shortcut way of finding the PB ratio is simply to come to the statistics tab, scroll down, and you will see PB ratio for the most recent quarter is 2.49. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to calculate the PB ratio. So for this, you will come over to the financials tab and go over to the balance sheet. The first number we will look for is the stockholders equity which in this case we see is about $37.7 billion. So we can put that into our calculator. Six, nine, and then we're going to divide this number by the total number of shares. So if we scroll down, we see shares issued at um, 172075. And that gives us the book value of $219. The next thing we're going to do is take the current share price divided by the book value that we have just calculated. So 614.219.05. And that gives us a price to book value of around 2.81 for BlackRock. What we have understand just now is that anything that above one in theory is considered to be overvalued. But is that the case? Is that really true for BlackRock? Is that how we can see it? Well, in, in theory, perhaps, yes, it, it, it is true that it's overvalued. But another more accurate way we can look at it is if we can think about what is the price to book ratio of other kinds of asset management companies that are within the same sector. So we know that BlackRock is in the asset management um, industry. We can see here under profile. What we can do is go look up what is the average price to book ratio for that particular sector. So that there are a lot of sources out there you can check out. This particular one is by NYU Stern. So we can scroll down and look for investment in asset management. And what we see is that the average PB ratio for this particular sector is 2.78. So BlackRock actually is quite fairly valued in its sector compared to the other companies that are also in investments and asset management. So that's one way that we can apply the PB ratio when trying to determine if this company is over, under, or fairly valued. All right, so that's it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe if you found it to be helpful and I'll see you in the next one.